Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rules. It's a different kind of video today. We're going to be vlogging. We've just had um, an interesting experience with this guy right here. So let me explain what's going on. A brace and he has to keep his thumb still. Yesterday I took um, <clears throat> my older son Kobe because he was having a second, like an ear infection and he just needed some drops. So we were trying to get him some new medicine. But after practice and a game, we decided to take him in. Now backtrack, a week ago, <laughs> um, Jonas flipped off of a scooter and landed on his face. I'll show you right here. <laughs> Okay, so he get, he got a little bit of a black eye from that, um, but he did land on his wrist. And um, so we just kind of have been watching it. So it, ha it hasn't even been a whole week, has it? What's today? Thursday? Thursday. Okay, so now it has been a week. But um, we've been watching it a few days. It's been getting worse, his wrist. And then when um, he comes in, like if he goes and rides a bike, um, if he has practice, he showed us his wrist and it's been getting like more swollen. So when we went to the doctors yesterday, what did they say? It's dislocated. It's dislocated and possible fracture. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing, but we have to now go to a specialist. And so that's where we're going to be taking you along with us. So are, are you in a lot of pain? Uh, not really. It's just... When I move my thumb, it, I'm in a lot of pain. So he, um, do you want to put it like, yeah. So if he moves right in here, that's where the doctor's like, he can't be moving right there. So we're trying to just keep his thumb still, just like so he can't bend it. But um, let's show your other hand, next side by side. So he does have a wonky kind of hand right here, huh, guys? <laughs> but this, it's like right in here. So we'll see what the specialists say. I am not looking forward to it. And now I need to clean up a little bit because I still have to do some work. Me too. Yeah, we both have school and work and then we need to get going. So uh, we'll see what we can get done. While we are waiting for the appointment to begin, I'll just show you some of the things that I'm doing around the house. First off, I'm a little out of breath. Ezra and I are walking around the house to get our 10,000 steps since we're working with um, Tina, right? And so I have my Fitbit on and so far I've been able to hit 10,000 steps with the majority of them in my home. So I take about 10 or 15 minutes and walk around in a path in and out of rooms and just up and down the stairs, things like that. And it all adds up, you guys. So 15 minute bursts, plus sometimes I will run in place. How much, how, and then count. What do we count to? A hundred. We run in place for up to a hundred and then we do like a, a cool down lap. That was fun, huh? Yeah, but the a hundred took me out of breath. <sighs> I know, me too. I'm like, <sighs> yeah. so what are we gonna do right now? School. Homeschool. So you can see here, let me show you. So we're doing some uh, Good and the Beautiful musical uh, multiplication. And he's got some spelling, some reading. We have other math things. Some uh, we have language. We have vocabulary. He's doing multiplicate. He's doing a lot. So I kind of just put it all out. Make some big mess on the table, and then every time he's done with something, we put it away. Right? It makes it cleaner. Yep. And so we can see how much work he has. <laughs> like he can see it. It's visual. And then the faster he works, the faster it cleans up. So ready, set. Go. And just like that, he's all done. So now it's time for me to work. So I'm gonna be running upstairs, getting on my computer and teaching some preschool. I thought I'd show you a behind the scenes sneak peek of how I teach preschool. <laughs> so we do some calendar, um, we do some sounds. I have a sound game we're gonna work on. And then I, I actually use another camera here so that it can be on the computer. 
so the kids can see it. I have books and numbers. It's kind of a little bit of a mini disaster zone over here, but it's like organized chaos to me because this is the month of what I have already have like organized from doing and teaching preschool for the last 20 years. It's kind of like this is my month for November and then I have months back here for December and then this was October in case I need to pull some stuff out. And then I just have some fun games like every bit of these drawers has like preschool stuff that I could pull out really quick and teach some numbers and other fun lessons. So I need to get started. All right, work is done. So I need to do some cleaning and get some dinner ready for when we go to the doctors. So I'm making chicken Parmesan bake or chicken parm bake. All right, so really quickly, I'm just throwing this into a nine by 13, just some chicken breast, but I have some oil with some um, garlic and some red pepper flakes on the bottom. And then I have my chicken on top, salt and pepper it. Then we're going to pour our favorite sauces on top. So it pretty much comes out to two thirds of the jar. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this because um, I don't really have like a ton of chicken. I didn't fill it all the way up. I have in the past, like filled it with as many chicken breasts as I could and cut them into smaller slippers just to make it fit. So I'm just kind of making sure I'm coating this really well. And actually I'm gonna do a little separation here because I'm gonna save one over there on one side for Paul without the croutons. Yes, there's croutons on this, you guys. I have a couple of like open bags, so I really need to use them up. So this is a perfect recipe for that. Oh, you know what I forgot? Don't put the, <laughs> you have to put some of the cheese down first. <laughs> so cheese, I got ahead of myself, you guys. I got ahead of myself. This is what happens when I'm, I have a doctor's appointment on my mind. And now you get to put the, the some croutons. So I'm just gonna use the rest of this bag. It'll get softened by the, the sauce. And if I did this totally wrong, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> if You should watch my video on how I put it together. I'll try to link it below. And then we're gonna top that with more cheese and more Parmesan. It'll cook at 350, 30, 45 minutes-ish. And I'll just make sure that we're, I'm gonna set it like on a timer. And like while we're gone, it's cooking and it's gonna be all good. That way we don't have to run out and go buy something. Although <laughs> I'm sure my boys would rather I go pick something up. All right, so we gotta go try to get some steps in and then I'll take you with us to the doctors. All right, we are on our way to the doctors. Wish us luck that it's not going to cost us so much money. Yeah, right. Um, he's still in pain. We'll see what the doctor says, but in a little bit I'll have Jonas tell you a little bit more about some of the things that have happened in his young years. So when I was eight, um, I remember one time we were at a park and I went down a slide and it just kind of popped out my shoulder and all these shoulder pops out. It's probably why my hand is dislocated. We're, we're just thinking, we're just wondering if his bones are pop easily poppable or easily to dislocate. We've already been to this children's spine place before in the surgery place before a few years back. So we'll see what they say um this is obviously an injury so it's not like he's just walking around you know dislocating everywhere so but i'm just so curious like if his bones are just made that way is that weird ah so here we go we're going in wish us luck and now we wait is your wrist still hurting yeah Looks like we are casting. How do you feel about getting a cast? Oh. 
Better than surgery, right? Yeah. His poor hand. Ah. I brought all the supplies in. I think they're ready to start. All right, so we went to the doctors, and what did they say? Oh, they said we might, it might be like a fracture that they can't see. Yeah, and, and that happened, so they yeah. want him to be stabilized, so... so. He has a cast. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All right, so he's going to keep it still. He's no, going to... I have no other option. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't go hitchhiking with that thing. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get ready for dinner, and then we'll show Dad when he gets home. Okay, so I just took dinner out. I'll show you up close, but the kitchen smells so good. You can see it gets a little bit crispy on there, and I cooked it for about 40 minutes. So if I had more chicken right here, we wouldn't have some of that extra juice right there. So, but it smells delicious. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. <laughs> So at least we end our night with a delicious dinner. Best dinner ever. Best dinner ever. <laughs> Do you know when I hear something funny? I had that all prepped, ready to go. I, I set the timer on the oven to make it automatic so that by the time we got back from the doctors, it would be ready. I forgot to put the 9 by 13 dish into the oven. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, don't do that one. So the diagnosis, in case you're wondering, it's not broken, it's not dislocated, they want it stabilized for three weeks, and then we'll know if there's a hidden fracture underneath after the three weeks. We'll pray that he doesn't need to get recasted for another six weeks, or worse, surgery. Ugh. So I'll have to make a, a follow-up video, right? We'll have to see how you're doing in a few you weeks. You broke what part two? <laughs> uh, send Jonas some well wishes down below. And don't worry, I'll be doing some grocery hauls, some more recipes, but stick around. You just never know what we'll all be rolling out next. Hopefully nothing else breaks. Bye, guys. <laughs>